Hi there, so we're going to um, subnet a class C network. This network in particular. So it has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So cedar notation is slash 24. So our requirements. So first thing when subnetting is get the requirements. So we want a uh, we want networks of size uh, ten hosts. So the first thing you want to do is so we got the requirements. We need to find the subnets. So in order to do that, we need to recognize the power of two that's going to encompass ten hosts. So you know, let's just do this mechanically. So we start with zero, or one rather. Um, that will be uh, two to the to the uh, to the first power, which is two minus two. So we or we lose two addresses, um, which is zero. So um, that's not going to be enough. So remember, we lose two addresses with the lose two addresses when we um, create a network um, one for the broadcast and one for the network address so if we leave two bits we get um, four minus two which is uh, which is two addresses, still not enough, so we just keep going. And this will be six, so that's uh, eight minus two, six. And just keep going here. So two to the four minus two is equal to 16 minus two is equal to 14. So that will, that should be enough addresses for what we need, because we need, uh, um, a network of size 10. Now we're not going to get like a nice perfect size because we're working with powers of 2. Okay, so now that we have an idea of how many bits we want to leave, we want to leave 4 bits. How do I know? Because uh, with each uh, power of 2, each time I, you know, when I raise a uh, the power of two to whatever number, um, that is the number of bits I want to leave. So I, I have power of, uh, I'm raising two to the power of four, so I'm going to leave four bytes. That's how many um, possibilities, uh, you know, I get I get uh, 16 possibilities when I raise to the power of four. And of course I lose two addresses for the broadcast and network address. So that should be sufficient for um, um, to match my requirement, my requirement being uh, having networks of at least size 10. So now that I know uh, how many bits to leave, how many, um, how many, um, you know, how many bits will I borrow for my networks? So, well, that's that's already uh, pretty much taken care of for us. So, in the last octet, because I'm going to be borrowing from the last octet. Because uh, that's the only octet I can be borrowing from since I'm starting from a class C network. The first 24 bits are uh, spoken for. That's part of my network address already. So I'm just dividing up the last octet. So since I've, I'm leaving the last four bits, I'm going to use the first four bits of that octet for the network address. So, um, so if I'm borrowing four bits from my network address well I already have the math here it's two to the four so here's so I will have so hosts I have um, 14 um, total so for network I will have two to the four so that's 16 so 16 networks, so I will have um, 16 networks. 
So the reason why I have 16 networks is again, I'm borrowing four bits from the last octet. So now that I know how my, uh, my last octet is gonna be divided up, let's, uh, let's start, um, you know, finding out more about each of those subnets and also listing them out. So let's, let's list the, the first subnet here. So the first subnet, you're, you're gonna start from the network that you subnetted. So what is the first network? It's gonna be 168.1.0. So that's the first subnet. It's gonna be the last octet. So we're just for the sake of brevity, we're just gonna refer to the last octet. So it's just gonna be zero is our first octet. I mean, our first subnet. This, the second one um, is going to be, well, how do we find that out? So that's gonna be, that's the tricky part. So let's, so how can we, jump from one subnet to the next. Well, let's take a look at the subnet mass. So what subnet mass do we have? We have 255, 255, 255. And what is that last uh, octet? Well, it's gonna be uh, 240. The reason why is because I have the first four bits dedicated um, to the network address now for our, uh, our new subnets. That's because I borrowed four bits from the last octet. So, now, if I want to um, list out the subnets, it's useful to use a block size. So the block size is gonna be, um, you take away from 256, 240, which is 16. And why did I um, choose those numbers? Well, the reason why is because I, I need to identify what the, what the interest in octet is. The interest in octet is gonna be um, the octets that I borrowed from. So for the class C, when I'm subnetting that, I'm gonna be using, um, I'm just gonna be looking at the last octet. So it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just borrowing from one octet here. And that's all, you know, that's always gonna be the case for class C. So since I'm, you know, so I'm borrowing from the last octet, so I just subtract it from 256 um, whatever the decimal value is in that last octet. So that's how I got 16. So why do I pick 256? Because um, that is like the number of possibilities for like an octet. So um, so whenever you're like trying to find a block size, subtract from 256. So now this block size, this is what I'm gonna use to go from one subnet to the next. This is how I'm gonna list them out. So I just start from the first subnet, which is zero, and I just add 16 to that. So that's uh, that's gonna be 16, so that's the second subnet. The third one is gonna be 32, then 48, and then uh, so on. So, and then finally you get to 240. So 240 is our last subnet. So we have 16 subnets here. So now that I list them all out, um, let's find the, um, the first and last host. The first host is this going to, you're just going to add one to the network address. So these are all of the, these are the network addresses here. So we're just, again, we're just looking at this, uh, you know, just, you know, kind of succinctly here because, uh, you know, we're just kind of, this is, this is the last octa here. So we're just kind of saving a little bit of space here and just writing out the last octet. So just add one here. So so for the subnet uh, 1.0, the first host is going to be one. So we just add one to the, the last octet here. So the broadcast address, I get the broadcast address next because um, cause you can figure out the, the last host easily from the broadcast address. So in order to get the broadcast address, just get the next like subnet. Uh, it's going to be 192.168.1.16. So that's the next subnet. Just subtract one from that so you get 15. And then last host is going to be minus one from the broadcast address, so it's 14. So again, let's do this one as an exercise. First host add one to the to the last octet here it's going to be 17. Uh, the broadcast address 
is going to be okay look at the next subnet the next subnet is 192.168.1.32 I just I'm just adding the block size to the next uh, um, to the network address to get the the subsequent subnet so I just subtract 1 from 32 I get 31 the, la the last address, last host, is going to be minus 1 from the broadcast address, so that's 30. Alright, so, um, so let me just do this one. So, let me, uh, so I'm going to keep going here, and I'm going to do the last one. So, the subnet uh, 192.168.1.240. So the first host, always the easiest one. Just, just add like uh, one to two forty. You get two forty one. The uh, the broadcast addressed. Um, it's a little tricky for the last one because you don't have like another subnet. But just just add sixteen to it anyway. And what do you get? You get two fifty six. Um, just again, subtract one from that so you get 255 so the, the last address is going to be minus 1 from the um, from the broadcast address so it's going to be 254 so hopefully uh, that should help out um, hopefully that was helpful for uh, subletting class C as you can see, Class C is is pretty easy to subnet. Um, you can go about it pretty methodically and just kind of, uh, you know, crunch a few numbers and and spit out the subnets. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Um, hopefully, so hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.